Hey guys, it's Brittany and welcome back to my channel. So today I am filming my plan with me for the week of August 3rd through the 9th and I just realized all of my stuff is a big old mess and as you can tell I have a ton of stuff that I'm using for this week. This is a very special week for me. It is my five year wedding anniversary. And yeah, so our wedding anniversary is on August 5th. By the way, I am filming this on Sunday the 2nd and it's 1037 at night. So I didn't plan on filming this super late, but life happens. Also, we were eating hot Cheetos. We were watching Thor Ragnarok because I feel like I've said this in like almost every video now, but um, we're watching all of the Marvel movies, like not like in movie release date order because they release out of order, but like in chronological order. So like when you watch them, it like they all flow and make sense. So anyways, we just got done with Thor Ragnarok and then our next movie is Avengers Infinity War. But anyway, so yeah, hot Cheetos. What can I say? But so freaking good. So anyways, um, I am using this kit from Scribble Prints Co. It is her Netflix and Chill Kit. This was, a, I think, released in February as more of like a kind of Valentine's-y, air quotes, um, kit. But it was drawn, of course, by Kittenish Girl Dress. It is an exclusive kit in her shop. I honestly do not know if this is still available. Um, but I will link um, SPC in the description box because... Just about everything I'm using is SPC. So these are the full boxes. I will just show you guys just so you can see them. I love everything about this kit so much. I feel like when this um, first came out, like people were kind of, I don't know, prude. <laughs> like, I don't know how else to say it, but they were like, I don't know. I just feel like a lot of people did not like the eggplant there. I personally love it. Um, it is a lush bath bomb. So, I mean, obviously, I mean, I guess most people know what, like, an eggplant is supposed to, like, represent. But, I mean, I think it's really funny. I love that Andrea went for it and put it in there. I think it's hilarious. And at the end of the day, it is a bath bomb. Like, look, bath bomb, bath bomb, bath bomb, you know? So, anyways, though, I, I yeah, I just thought it was hilarious. So, I absolutely love this. I thought this was perfect for our wedding anniversary because this is so my husband and I very at home chilling. I don't know if we're honestly going to be watching Netflix, but we'll probably watch a Marvel movie because you know, that is currently what we're binging, but this is definitely us Starbucks in and out. However, I'm not the biggest fan of in and out. You can come at me. I don't care what you say. I, I think in and out is trash for me. I need a full meal. I need some good French fries with a good burger and a drink and their French fries. I don't care what you say are disgusting. It tastes like paper. Get it animal style. Trust me, I have. It's not good. So I prefer Whataburger over In-N-Out. But my husband, if you guys don't know, is from California. And In-N-Out to him is life. So this is just perfect. We love ramen. I mean, french fries. Like, just everything. I love this kit so much. So I thought it was definitely us. Um, so then this is the heart checklist. Obviously, this is going to be a older format. So I will just flip through because it is older. And then you have the extra full box here. I love the colors too of this kit. Like my favorite color is purple and I love this purple color. It's like a purpley blue. Like, I don't know, it's just so pretty. I love it so much. And my husband's favorite color is red. So that's the other thing too, which is like kind of crazy that purple and red and that's very much in this kit. So this is the ultimate kit and then I did order this as an extra. So like the couples watching TV. And then I also ordered the glitter headers. And then this came as like the freebie. So this was the freebie of the kit. It's like a bath scene. So romantic. And then because I am very much into putting photos, like real life photos in my spreads, this is a picture of Edam and I on our wedding day, if my camera will focus. So that's us and yeah, August 5th, 2015. So like this flash from like our wedding date and then it would also flash to our name. So it'd say Edam and Brittany. And I love this picture of us, like so cute. Oh. I love it so much. So yeah, I'm, I'm really excited. I'm like, I feel like I'm getting all like blushy and red, <sighs> but I just love my man. What can I say? 
So I have like gone back and forth with like how I am going to do this week and honestly I have no idea. Um, I'm like a little nervous too to be honest because I just want this week to be perfect. <sighs> so this might be a long plan with me but like honestly what plan with me's aren't. Oh also too I got a ton of foil that we are bringing in. Like a crap ton. So I am doing a mixed metal gold and silver. So there is some stuff that is just gold, some stuff that is just silver, and then I do have mixed metal stuff, which I'm very excited about. So um, if you watch my last haul that I did, Kirsten sent me these, well, I placed an order, and then she added these to my order, I should say. Um, and it is the gold and silver bougie boxes. I don't know if you guys can see, but oh my God, like in person, they are just everything. So this is gonna be totally new for me, cause I've never done bougie boxes before. And then I realized um, earlier today, cause I was like going through and like changing what I was gonna put, that because I'm using bougie boxes, I have to use boxes for everything because I just can't write on the bougie box. If you don't know what bougie box is, basically it's foil. As you can see here, each of these are the size of a full box and you put them down where you wouldn't put a full box um, and it just foils up the spread. And I'm very excited about this because I've never seen a full bougie box spread in person, have I? No, I don't think I've ever seen Kirsten's all bougied up. No, I haven't. Um, so yeah, I've never seen one in person, so I'm really excited to use these. I've been wanting to do it, but girl is broke as a joke and I can't really do that. So I was so excited that Kirsten um, added those to my order. So I'm excited to do that. So I was just now thinking, because I'm doing bougie boxes for the very first time, which means I'm gonna have to put boxes on top of them, if, if you want to see like spreads done, go check out Andrea or Kirsten's plan with me's because they do the bougie boxes every single plan with me. And then you'll see what I'm talking about. But um, I've never done all boxes. I am pretty much, just in case anybody is new here, and my voice cracked, I do like white space planning and I rarely use boxes. Like in my spreads, I probably do like six, to 10, 10 might be a lot. 10 is like a busy week. But like I typically do like, I guess I would just say six to 10 boxes and a spread. So to like use a box, so like every single thing needs to be on a box pretty much. And I don't have a ton of scripts to like just put in a script to make it work. But I don't know, we shall see. So I think this plan with me is just going to be the base. And I just realized I'm already eight minutes in and I'm still talking. So holy Toledo, Brittany, let's just get it on. Um, I think I'm going to follow this order. So just to make life a little bit easier, I'm just, yeah, I'm just going to follow the order that Andrea, Andrea has it because why not? So I'm very excited to plan this week. I'm also very, very nervous just because, you know, like I said, it's our anniversary week and I want it to be perfect. I was thinking of like, should I just memory plan this week? But honestly, I don't. I don't feel like it. I'm just gonna do the base because I really wanna put these stickers down just to like have the base done to see what it looks like. I've been very excited to do this week for a long time. Ever since I had this kit, honestly, I've been so excited to lay down the base. So I'm glad I didn't jump the gun and just lay down the base, especially now that I have the bougie boxes and the whole gold and silver. So yeah, I posted a poll on my Instagram a while ago asking you guys if I should do a mixed metal gold and silver. And the majority said yes, which made me really happy. That's what I was hoping for. But I'll be honest, even if the majority said no, I probably would have still done it anyways. <laughs> it's so funny. I'm like one of those people, I will put a poll and ask questions, but I mean, I'm not one of those that like, oh, if, something loses and it's like a no for me. Like I'm still gonna do what I want basically. I just like to know people's opinions and what people think and just kind of like go from there. If that makes sense. Oh my gosh. Oh, you know what I realized? I don't even need to like, I can actually work from the top down. This is crazy. Like I'm, oh my God, I'm so excited. So, so excited. Is that right? No, that's crooked. 
Also too, with Scribble Prints Co., let me know what pens you use. I feel like I've asked so many people, um, and I'm just curious what the majority uses because I use, um, like, oh, this makes me so mad. Like, I don't know if you guys watched last week's plan with me, but I have like, can you see this blue line? It goes all the way across here. And then last week it was like all over, like it was all through going through here and it's all at the top. So I don't know what happened. If, oh, hi stickers, just like laying inside my planner. Oh, I got these from Christy. I actually got a bunch of stickers from Christy. What else do I have laying in my planner? Um, so yeah, she was so sweet. She sent me those stickers and she sent me other stickers too. So shout out to Christy. Um, but yeah, I don't, ugh, that blue line is driving me nuts that it's like there in my planner. Um, I was thinking that like maybe somehow my planner got dirty but like, I don't know, I don't have anything blue, so I don't understand how that would happen. So I think it's honestly just like a misprint. Like somehow the printers got messed up and they did that. That's just my, my guess, so I don't know. So I'm gonna go ahead and I usually do the glitter headers on the top and then the glitter headers on the bottom, but I was realizing, oh, you know what, Bernie, you cannot fiduck this up because I don't have extra full boxes to like fix any mistakes. I am nervous. I feel like I'm like almost shaking in a way because I just don't want to mess anything up and I want it to look so party. Okay. And then this is going to be the dark red. So I'm going to do that. And then bust out the bougie boxes. Oh my gosh, I'm excited. So, oh yeah, let me know what pens you use for SPC. Of course I don't have one right next to me. Go figure. I have a pen next to me, but it's not the one that I typically use for my planner. But I use the Pentel, I don't know if it's called Kleena or Selena. I love them great, great pens. Um, I actually got introduced to those pens from Andrea because at Kirsten's baby shower, which seems like so long ago, um, she like, we were using them and whatnot. But I don't know, like it, they, they write really good on like all of my other, like I'm, I'm a matte girl. I love matte paper. And I've never had an issue using them on matte and like, you know, the paper that I use. Cause I mainly do printables for those that may be new to my channel. So yeah, like I've never had an issue with them on that, but then on SPC's paper, oh no, you see that line. Why do you see that line? I must've messed something up. So let me move this up a little bit. But yeah, on SPC paper, whenever I write, it starts to fade. So like, it'll probably write good on one box, but then I'll like go to write on like another box and it like the ink gives out and like fades on me. And it's like, what the heck? So I thought like maybe it was dying. I need to wipe this out. Um, but yeah, I thought maybe like, oh, okay, it's dying on me. So I need to get like a new pen. So I ordered new ones and it, it's doing the same thing again but it only happens on the glossy like SPC paper. So I need to figure out a new pen on what to use. I was talking to, I've actually, I messaged several people talking to them. I was talking to um, Sarah about it, to Emma about it, to Bailey. And I think They said, sorry, I had a brain fart. I think they said Pilot G2. And I think somebody said Paper Mate Ink Joy Gel, which I had the Paper Mate Ink Joy Gel and I threw that bitch away because I got so angry. I used it on um, a Caress Paris. Oh, so I need to put bougie boxes up here. Okay, so I finished one page of the bougie boxes and I did the counting like maybe 100 million times. So I hope I did count right. So you guys can see here, it just adds that that shine and that foil. Oh my God, I'm excited. I'm already like obsessed. I can't even believe. 
I die. Um, but yeah, I in January I used a caress press kit the first time ever I used one. And I was super excited, and somebody had told me to use the Paper Mate Ink Joy Gel, which I did. And it wrote great on the caress press kits, or on, like on the paper. It wrote really well because I was nervous because I heard caress press, you have to like be extra careful whenever you're, you know, using that because of like the type of paper that it is. Um, it's, it's an old kit, so I don't know if it's the same exact paper that she uses now, but anyways, so it wrote great on the crust press, but then on, this is the silver or white, I guess, really. Then on the, like the actual Erin Condren paper, I know I just said the name, like, oh my God, I feel like the whole like Lord Voldemort, like you're not supposed to say that, but I'm going to be Harry Potter and just keep saying you know, he should, he should, I guess it's really she, she shall not be named. Ooh, this is going to be the bath. Okay. I have to cut that. We're going to get back to this one. Cause I'm going to be doing a sticker surgery here. Um, I totally butchered that. What I was like trying to say, she, she who shall not, I can't say it. He who shall not be named. I feel like I'm still saying that wrong. I don't know. You guys know what I'm saying, right? Okay. Yeah. So anyways. I think everybody knows now about like the Aaron Condren drama. So anyways, though, we're not talking about that. Um, what was I talking about though? Shiza. I don't even remember now. Oh, on the Aaron Condren paper though, it skipped like crazy. Like it skipped so bad and looked hideously ugly. I was pissed. So I basically had to go through and white everything out and then rewrite. I was so mad because I wanted that week to turn out really cute and I feel like it looks like shit because of the pen. So anyways, yeah, I threw that, that pen away because I got really pissed and I was like, you ruined my spread. <laughs> so I threw it away. But somebody told me that the Paper Mate works really well on um, Scrubble Prince Co. glossy paper. But that same, I think it was Emma that told me though, but it writes like shit on Aaron Condra paper. And I was like, okay, well that's good to know because I had the same experience with it not writing good at all whatsoever when I had used it. So I definitely don't want the Paper Mate Ink Joy gel pen. Is that what it's called? The Paper Mate Ink Joy gel? I don't want that because I don't want to deal with the skipping. Although I'm not going to be writing on paper, I just realized. I'm going to be writing on just the SPC paper. So I don't know, but I think a couple people told me Pilot G2, and then I also, my friend Bailey, she's using, I don't even know what kind of pen. I think she said she got it at Michael's. It's, I think it starts with the letter S, but I'm not 100% sure. So anyways, though, if you guys know, what goes here? I took it off. Oh, 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 oh. Hi, where's my extender? <gasps> Where'd it go? Oh, here she is. So that is garbage. I mean, I just printed this on my own and then I used up another full sheet of bougie boxes. So the only thing though is that my friend Bailey did tell me that it does bleed. So she said, no, it doesn't bleed. Like it, it gets runny. So like make sure it like really is dry because if not, it'll like, you know, make a mess or whatever. So I was like, ooh, good to know. White, okay, I didn't mess anything up, good. Sometimes I mess up the glitter headers, so I just wanted to make sure. Whoops, I did not mean to peel this one off. Okay. And I did double check that there will be enough bougie boxes for me to like put them in here. So that's what like I triple counted because I wanted to make sure I don't mess anything up. Is that, yeah. So anyways, this is like first world problems, I know, like talking about what pens to use, but let me know your favorite SPC pens. I don't like thick, that's the only thing, like the, the Pilot G2, doesn't it only come in 0.07? So I really like 0.03 or 0.05, which I feel like, I feel like a thick pen would be okay for this spread because it is like darker colors and it doesn't matter. And then also going into fall and winter, I guess it's not, or no, winter I honestly would like a point oh, oh no, I need to wait out. 
I think I would want a 0.03 because I like how like light and dainty the 0.03 is. The fact that I care so much about pens is just like so wild to me. I never thought the day would come. Um, but I do notice Viv, um, she uses pens that I used to use, but my black, because I used to use colored erasable pens, the Pilot Frictions, those are the pens that I used to use all the time. And then I used to use the Parku pens, but I never tried them on SPC paper. Um, but they, yeah, they are friction pens and they erase and I used to do colored pens like back in the day I used to love me some colored pen action But I would say the past is this my third year now? Yeah, I think this is my third year now Maybe my second I don't know but now I'm just really into the whole only black and my friction pens and black ink they're all used up so I pretty much only like good pen wise only have the the Pentel Kleenas or Selenas and I love them. They are great. Another page of bougie box is gone. Um, yeah, so they are great pens. It's just they don't really work well on the glossy. So anyways, I can't believe I'm talking this long about pens. So I am done. <laughs> I am done talking about the pens, but please let me know for those that use specifically if you use SPC paper because I know not all glossy paper oh my god I almost put down a box the wrong box I know not all of it is the same so anyways please help a bitch out I appreciate it oh, I'm so excited you guys have no idea like I feel like I could cry I'm so excited it looks so pretty and I know I'm moving my planner around a lot like sideways and such Hopefully it's not driving you guys too crazy, but mama needs to get in here, okay? We gotta get stuff done. I feel like I'm moving pretty well too, like pretty fast, but I could be wrong. And then also I'm definitely gonna be adding a ton of, how rude, I was putting down this full box and my memory card ran out of memory, but hey, that's all good. I caught it in time. Um, okay, so yeah, lots of foil is gonna be happening and I'm so excited. I feel like this week is kind of like an up in the air week. Um, we do have, well, it's, it's crazy. It's my daughter's five and she has more plans than we do. Basically all of our plans revolve around her. I know in the last plan with me, I did talk about like the whole cheer situation where she should have started cheer practice and then they didn't have a cheer coach. And of course, like as soon as I got done filming that plan with me, I got an email, they found a cheer coach. So um, she is having her, well technically she already had her, nah, it wasn't really a practice. It was more of like a meet and greet. I thought it was gonna be an actual like practice practice. Um, but she had it on Wednesday. So it's gonna be every Monday and Wednesday is going to be cheer practice, which thankfully works out good for us with her schedule because um, Thursday she has, why is that not going? Why is this not going all the way down? What the heck? Are the bougie boxes longer than the, oh no, I'm just, I don't know. Mm, come on. Are we okay? Sorry guys, this is like, okay, we're good. I was about to like have a moment here. It looks like it has a little bit of space though. I don't understand why. I mean, I know you guys can't see that, but I can. So that's gonna and bother me. And I don't know if I'm gonna be able to move this. Nope. Okay, I think we're gonna, hold on. I just can't leave well enough alone. That's just not in my nature. All right. There we go. I feel better. No, I don't. What the heck? 
I don't want any space, sir. Okay, that's better. Whew. All right, I do wanna put a bougie box here. And then what I decided is I don't know if I'm going to put a bougie box um, up here. Because honestly, this is our anniversary and my husband is off of work from this day, thankfully. But I don't know what we're doing. We were talking about it today, actually. And we're like, what are we doing? And we have just not a clue in the world. So um, I figured if we don't have enough to like fill up the three days, I'm going to put a full, another like full box up here. Because I do have extra full boxes. And I'm going to use the um, the ramen one because I'm not using it in this bread. So that's what I've decided. And this is like, oh, there we go. Bending down there. Okay, so now what we do need to do is this full box here. So I'm using the bath sticker. I really like it. So that's the one that I want to use. Sorry, I'm trying to like organize all of these pages here. I'm not used to a ton of pages. So that is gonna be very different for me. Okay, I think we're good. And I'm gonna need to put this over here. So I need to, oh my gosh. I have this guy out because I am not good with the slice tool at all whatsoever. I'm just, it's not, it's not for me, unfortunately. I suck at it. So I'm gonna use this to try and cut this down to full box size. So what I think I'm gonna do is cut the top, put, no, I don't know. Okay, I'm gonna cut the top first. So I was gonna try to do this so you guys could see what I'm doing. I was gonna do this off camera, but I feel like I do so uh, like a lot of like pre-stuff off camera. And I know that probably sucks for maybe the viewer because I'm a type of person, like I wanna see what people are doing. So I'm like, mm, maybe y'all are the same way. So cut that right off. I can just put that to the side because that's probably gonna be garbage. And then I need to see like full box size, which is, I'm just scared to cut too much. Um, okay, let me, oh yeah, these are the Pilot Friction Pens. These are the ones that I used to use all the time when I first started planning. But see, I was thinking if I just put a full box overlay over this, then that'll be easier to cut. But I don't want to do that because I don't know what overlay I want to use. So I think this would go like there. Okay. But yeah, I love these as erasable pens, but again, my black one is completely out of ink and dead. So that is that. Okay, I really, really, really hope this is gonna be the right size. We cut it, it is done. So does that look like, oof, I don't know, I'm really nervous. Oof, that was loud. Let me see. Hopefully I don't wake up Alondra. All right, so let's see if I did this. I mean, if it's not, I mean, does that still look like a bath? I think so, right? Are we still recording? We are, okay. Okay, you guys can see my mess. Oh, yeah. Hopefully, well, I think I did pretty damn good. Oh my God, I did. That does look like a bath. That looks cute. Okay, girl, I see you. Mm-hmm. All right, and I'm still not decided if I want to use, I'm trying to decide if I want to use um, date covers or, okay, I'm gonna have to like really focus because for some reason, I don't know why. Maybe because the bougie boxes are, like obviously they're clear. Maybe that's the situation, I don't know, but. I just want to get it like lined up properly. Okay, actually that was really good. Oh my God, I'm very, very, very excited to see this. I can't decide if I want to do date covers at the top or deco. I mainly do deco, but I'm still undecided. 
Oh my God, you guys, I am so in love with this. I almost wanna just put the ramen one there because I love the ramen one. It was very hard for me to decide. I love food full boxes. They just speak to me. They are my love language. And this is literally like my favorite foods. Like I love french fries, shout out Amy. Um, I love, well no, I don't love in and out but my husband does, so we love it. But I do love me some Starbucks and I love ramen. I mean, hi, I'm Japanese, of course I love ramen. The only thing that would make this perfect is if we had sushi. And I do love pizza, which is this other full box that was on here was the pizza, but I didn't get like what this division edition meant. I didn't get what that is. And I wish it was like cute girl sweats. Honestly, not that like my sweats are cute. They're actually really ugly. Um, but I don't know, just for like the full box sake. But anyways, but yeah, I love me pizza as well, except not pepperoni. Sausage is the preferred, but you guys know what I'm saying, right? Right. So anyways, um, okay, we need to do the sidebar, um, but uh, yeah, so I really want to do the ramen in here, but if I have a lot to write in one day, like for this day, I want to be able to like put everything. So I'm going to hold off and I guess we'll see how many plans we have. So I'm going to go ahead and work on the sidebar then, and I am going to use the balloons for the sidebar because I want to use the quote. So the quote box says, I don't have like any lovey-dovey quotes, and this is the only one that I have. I got it in a freebie eons ago, and it says, loved you then, love you still, always have, always well. And like, hi, hello, isn't that the perfect quote? And it's in gold, as you can tell. It's like the perfect quote. I originally was thinking just silver for this week because of the like art. I feel like it's very, it looks really good with silver, but I saw that I had this and so I wanted to make it work. So that's the true reasoning why I was like, what do you guys think about mixed metal? And thankfully a lot of y'all were on board. So I'm using the balloons because I think this overlay, woohoo would look best. I'm like trying to really get up in here. So if you see my hair, I'm sorry, but I did just wash it because we did go to the pool today. So there's that. But yeah, I just thought the overlay would look best on the balloons and they do, they look so pretty. Oh, I love it. I always get nervous about using quote overlays because I see a lot of people do quote overlays and then it like, it like you can't read the quote overlay and it just doesn't look good. And I'm always like, oh, shiza. That was probably a, not a good idea. So I always get nervous for me at using them. I am like so in love with this. Oh my God. Like I, I could cry. It's so beautiful. And I'm not even like, I shouldn't even say this because I'm going to sound like, <sighs> like such a weirdo, but I even did like Brittany, should you even say this out loud? Whatever, screw it. I'm going to say it. I wanted my week to be perfect. Ain't no shame in my game. But I even screenshotted some people. Like, I went on the hunt looking for people who used this same kit. And I screenshotted um, what they did so I could see how they laid out boxes and such. Yes, I was that extra that I did that. I know. Call me cray, but... That's just what I did. Um, okay, so I'm looking for sidebar stuff now. Where is it? And I feel like I should just talk about my mans because he's amazing. And I mean, I know not all of you all watch. I'm missing a page. Oh, no, I'm not. It's right in front of me. Here's your sign. But I do want, does she do squared off boxes with this? Yes, she did. Okay, good. There's only two. Hold on, you guys. But yeah, just in case there's people, oh. So those are the big ones and these are the smaller ones. I think I want the big ones, but just in case things don't line up properly, we'll keep the small ones out. And then I have the glitter headers that I will need. Okay, all right, okay, all right, okay. So I'm just thinking real quick, what color? That is the purple and the pink. So I love this purple though, so I really wanna use it. But then I'm trying to think, I don't have any of the white to use. It's not really white, is it? It's kind of, I don't know. So if I put, 
Let me see. How did I do other? Oh, here we go. Actually, this Rewind Plan With Me, I just posted last week or so. So if you guys want to check that out. But yeah, so it will all fit going up. Okay. I'm working from the bottom up. I usually don't do that, but. Oh, here it is. Sometimes I just feel like it's just easier to do it that way. Uh, okay, I'm gonna do it. It's not gonna have white in the side, but that's okay. Um, I'll do this pink color. I just hope I put this full box down. Okay, not crooked. And I don't know, can you guys see? Oh yeah, that's the couple box there, which will be us watching movies because that's what we've been doing. But it's been nice actually watching all of the Marvel movies in order because there's a lot that we haven't watched. Um, and I really like a lot of them, so. Okay, what? I'm gonna do a big one. I'll probably do the pink so we can do the white. Um, but I will say though, I we've never watched Doctor Strange before. That took us two days to get through because we were bored out of our gourds. Like it was the most boring movie. I was like, this is like not good. And I really liked Doctor Strange and The Avengers. I thought he was really good and I liked him and I was excited to watch his movie, but after we watched it, I was like, really? This is like it? This is him? Like I'm not impressed at all whatsoever. Like I was just not feeling it. Oh shoot. I was gonna use the red. And I just realized if I put the purple, wait, do I use? I do. So I probably should have put, I'm gonna switch this. I don't want the glitter headers all close to each other. So, do this one. Wait, ah. But yeah, Doctor Strange was definitely a disappointment. We kept falling asleep, it took us two days and like we were just yeah, we were over it. We were very bored. I was disappointed um, by it. But I will say Ant-Man, we had never watched Ant-Man before. It was so good. It was so funny. I really, really, really liked it. So definitely recommend that one. What's another one that I watched? Oh, surprisingly, I, I hadn't watched the Spider-Man Homecoming. I need to like get up because I feel like I cannot see what the heck I am doing. This has gone crooked. Okay, so I haven't lost my mind completely. Uh, the only thing too with glossy is like once they bend, they bend. Okay, is that right? Sure, Brittany. Um, but yeah, Spider-Man Homecoming was really good. He's like so cute and funny, not like cute, like attractive in my opinion but just like he's just he's like a little boy spider-man peter parker um so yeah i don't know like it was just like really funny and cute it's like oh my god he's so cute and little um so yeah so that was really cute but so it's been fun doing that my husband is very much into marvel movies um iron man is his absolute favorite he is a stan for tony stark he does have a iron man tattoo and if you are about to roll your eyes or make an ugly ass face you better check yourself because it is a cute ass tattoo and this shouldn't be a spoiler but tony stark saves the day we're all alive because of him okay so <laughs> so yeah don't be rolling your eyes and hating on Tony Stark. Oh, so these are the full boxes that are left and I am going to save them because again, if I use, like if I don't have enough for this page, I will put it there. Um, the ramen one, I love that ramen one. Okay, let's open her up and look. I'm very, very 
very excited oh my god she's so beautiful oh she's beauty and she's grace she's miss united states i love 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 sorry if i'm being weird too i'm just like so in awe i'm so excited i'm nervous and it's also 11 18 at night and i am on a coke high so there is that let me put that bougie over there because i will probably be saving that okay so I do have decisions, decisions, decisions on all of these overlays. Of course, I am going to use all four of the mixed metal because I just feel like it's mixed metal, you know? So I will be using all four of those, or should I not? And should I save them? Mm, okay, we're not gonna do this decision right now. We're not, because I just can't. I do have these mixed metal bows. But honestly, I love the twinkle. I'm really feeling the twinkle mix metal. So I want to use that. I also have hearts and I was trying to decide if I should use the hearts, but I just don't know if it will look weird trying to like add in different foil overlays. Mm. I just didn't know like if that would look funky. So I'm not going to do it because I'm already like, nervous with the bougie boxes and I'm gonna have to like put actual boxes on every single day so yeah I don't know switching up like two different foils I think I need to like look and see I don't know why I have the tweezers out but that's fine I think I need to like look and see I need this closer sorry y'all um if other people do foil you know what I'm saying like different what am I saying I don't know if other people have mixed foil like overlays so like i have these twinkle and i have gold hearts i just don't know how that would look so i don't know it's making me nervous and i'm already nervous and i'm already sweating my ass off because these lights are so bright it's funny too because my office is like the front room of the house so it faces the street i mean my window is closed because obviously i don't want no peeping tom you know looking in here but i do wonder like if my neighbors like if they just happen to be outside and they're like why is she up like man her lights are really bright in her room you guys know what i'm saying I just feel like they probably i mean i know i would like if i saw the bright light i would be like dang what are they doing but filming and actually you know it's funny i'm talking about my neighbors i can hear somebody outside so there's that yes i love this oh i'm so excited oh see daisies i think i messed up no no oof okay i messed that up do i have another purple header I do. I do. We're gonna remove this. Hasta la vista, baby. Cause I totally ripped that up and I want my spread to be extra party. Okay, Brittany, let's not fiduck this up. It's like holding my breath on that one. Okay, so let's talk about my, oh my God, I seriously about shit myself because I was gonna go down the line and I was like, wait, I didn't put a freaking glitter header right here. What the hell? And I realized it's because it's like a white color. We're okay. <laughs> We're okay. Nobody fret. Um, so anyways, yeah, we've been married for, it'll be five years. On Wednesday, we got married in Las Vegas. Don't roll your eyes at that either, okay? Uh, people always like, I don't know. If you say you get married at Vegas, people are always like, I don't know, just think bad about it. We were not drunk. We, uh, you know, we weren't there on vacation and just, you know, made a bad decision. No, we intentionally planned to have our wedding in Las Vegas. I tell people all the time, like, it's seriously the best decision that we made especially if you're on a budget and not trying to go all out it was honestly like we're, we weren't mad about it i'm still not mad about it 
Um, I think our whole wedding cost us $500. It did actually, it cost us 500 buckaroos. I feel like this needs to go down a little bit more. Um, I don't know, will this fold? I might need to like put something heavy on that to like keep that down just a smidge. Um, but yeah, so yeah, I highly recommend. I'm trying to think, where did we get married at? Did we, it was it called the little white chapel. I can't remember now that I'm like, I'm drawing a blank on it, but, um, yeah, we, you know, obviously plan on getting married and such, but at the time we were living in Minnesota and so we were trying to decide where should we get married because my husband's family, oh, whatever, that went down a little bit crooked, but we're, I'm not gonna, I guess, be that picky. I'm just gonna be like Elsa and let it go. Um, but we just had Alondra in January. And so yes, I had a baby out of wedlock, or out of wedlock, God, I can't talk. Um, so we had just had Alondra in January and we wanted to get married and I was like, let's just go to the courthouse. And my husband was like, no, he's like, I want to do something. And I'm like, well, where are we going to get married? Because we didn't want to get married in Minnesota, even though that's where we were living because you know, then both sides of the family would have to travel because my family was in Florida. My dad was in Texas and then his whole family is in pretty much California. Actually, that's like his mom and dad brothers, but like his like majority of his family is in Mexico. So I was like, what would be easy for everyone to get to? And so I was like, oh my God, why don't we just do Las Vegas? Because he didn't want like a big fancy wedding and I didn't want a big fancy wedding either. My camera stopped recording again. So we both were like in agreement to not have a big fancy wedding, but I was fine with the courthouse, but he wanted something a little bit more. And we were trying to think what we could do that would be like convenient for like everyone. So I was like, babe, why don't we just do Vegas? And he was like, oh my God, that's perfect. So that's what we did. And I was working for Delta at the time, so was he. So my parents, um, they did fly for free. So that worked out really well. And then his parents flew for free too, but um, Vegas is only a four to five hour drive from San Diego. So instead of flying, they all just drove. And then it was perfect too because a lot of his family in Mexico were able to drive up to Vegas as well to come to our wedding. So yeah, we did it at, I wanna say it's Little White Chapel. I'm almost like gonna bust out, the, I have the everything still in the folder in my filing cabinet right next to me. Um, but yeah, it was like $500. We did it outside, which was a huge mistake because it's August and the desert, it's hot as balls. But that's what we did. Um, and then afterwards we went to the Aria Hotel and we did like the buffet and it was honestly, it was great. Like it was really, really, really great. Um, and yeah, it was quick and easy. No drama, no nothing. It was just a lot of fun. Um, and then also to the night before, we had like a really nice like steak dinner at oh, Gordon Ramsay's. Oh, I forgot the headers over here. At a Gordon Ramsay's uh, steakhouse. And then we also went to a show at the Aria from like Cirque du Soleil. I don't know what the name of the show is because like each Cirque du Soleil, I don't know if I'm saying that right, Cirque du Soleil, like the shows have names, you know? But I don't, I can't think of what the Aria one, like what the name was called or whatnot. But anyways, we did that the night before. But yeah, like the night of our wedding, it was so funny. Like we were just exhausted because like getting ready. Like, so I, we stayed at the Venetian. We got a suite at the Venetian. So that was like almost as much as our wedding, to be honest. So we ended up getting a suite there um, and it was really nice. And I've always wanted to stay at the Venetian. And then the Sephora was like right there too. So I went and had an appointment to get my makeup done there um but anyways so which they i don't know if they still do but you basically just had to buy makeup and you got your makeup done so it was like perfect did i forget anything what is that line oh i put it down crooked good job Brittany. whatever i love this so much oh my gosh 
<sighs> so I'm trying to decide what I want to put here for my sidebar. If I want to put five years or if I want to put like one week till Alondra school. I'm actually thinking if I should get rid of this and I can put two things. Because that's what I'm doing. I Like the last couple of weeks I've been putting two things. Hold on. Let me see. Because now if I can, that's probably what I'm going to do. Uh, I can still do the red color. Or I could do the white. But... I don't know, is this the same size? I'm also scared to like use a box because what if I'm like, damn it, I need a box, but we're gonna go for it. Cause it is one week until Alondra starts school and I do wanna put our five years in the sidebar. And I'll be honest, I've been so bad with habit trackers. Like I've, I've just been so bad overall. Like I was exercising like really good and I just fell off the bandwagon with it. And I'm honestly kicking myself in the ass for that. I was taking my medication, no, I shouldn't say medication, like supplements, my vitamins. I've been doing so good with taking my vitamins that I stopped tracking that because I was doing it. So I'm like, why am I tracking that when I'm already being like consistent with it? Well, hmm, the past, I don't know, two, maybe three weeks, I haven't been consistent with it. But I don't blame myself, I blame Amazon. Because Amazon, I had to like reorder, I'm taking like seven, six, six supplements, but I have to take like seven pills I think a day. Anyways, yeah, I blame Amazon because I ran low on two of the medications or the supplements that I needed and they took forever to, to send me my order. It was supposed to arrive in two days and then somehow my package got lost and so like, a week and a half later, I, I ended up getting them. So anyways, long story over. Okay, let's do the full box overlays. So anyways, yeah, that is um, the story of our wedding. Um, I actually do have like a, a really small like video of it on my channel if you wanna watch and see us get married. I like compiled everything together, like some old clips of like vlogs, like mixed in to like us getting married. I think the video is only like five minutes. Our wedding was super quick, thankfully, because it was hot as balls outside. Um, so anyways, if you do want to see it, I'll link it in the description box because <laughs> it's really quick. But yeah, so that's where we got married at in Vegas. And I love my dress. It's funny because I think I want to do the that on our picture like the simple line and it is in gold but um alondra just asked me recently too if she could see my wedding dress she's like i want to see your wedding dress and i was like oh okay sure so i showed it to her and she was just like oh it's so pretty and i was like mm, thank you and this is going down crooked Whoa, it's not ruining the paper. That's because this paper that I printed on is like the best paper in the world. I wish all shops use this paper. It's um weatherproof matte. I used to use this paper all the time and then I stopped because like 100 sheets is, look at that, this whole thing comes off. And I feel like most people know like the these things do not peel off easily. I'm trying to like fold this down good because I don't know if you guys can tell, but it's, let me see, hold on. Ugh. Stay down. Okay. Did I just hear something? What is that noise? Sorry guys, I thought I heard something and it scared the crap out of me, but it's just my neighbors. So anyways, yeah, this is like weatherproof matte. It is from online labels. You can get it off their website or you can get it, now my fingerprints are all over this, but whatever. Um, but yeah, you can get it off their website or you can get it off of Amazon, but like 100 sheets is like 60 to $70. I can't recall exactly. So it is pricey. It's the paper that I've always used though, ever since I started like planning and stuff. But we had just bought our house and stuff. So I was like, oh, I wanna save and be cheap. So I got like a hundred sheets for 10 bucks off Amazon. It's still good paper, but it's not the same quality. 
So anyways, um, but yeah, like the fact that that just peeled off of that, that tells you something right there. So anyways, okay. I like that. It's just like the simple, can you guys even see that? Mm, maybe. Yeah. The simple like lines. Okay. So then I do want to bust out. I want to do like a mixture of like just silver and then just gold and yada, yada. So I think I'm going to do, should I do silver mixed metal gold? And then silver mixed metal and then I could do like the mixed metal here because I can just cut one and put it like there and there I think so okay let's do that so I will what is that noise what is happening right now I think it's my neighbors outside just being loud okay I'm gonna put this silver one here and I like that the silver is a twinkle because it matches like the other mixed metal twinkle so that'll go there I think I do want this to be mixed metal and if I cut this trying to think if I cut this in half I don't know if it'll look right I think I need to cut one of these ones in half yeah okay I'm gonna cut this one and like a diagonal okay Put that there, and then uh, this one goes at the top, right? Yeah. Okay. Oh shit. I need to realize I can't just be picking up all of this stuff. Okay, good. We're saved. You can't even tell. Whew-wee. Okay. So we have that. Okay. We have the silver there. This is gold. Yes. Okay. Maybe I'll put the other gold one here. I feel like that'll look nice there. And then I can do... Should I do mixed metal, mixed metal, mixed metal? Because I have three left. Oh, I feel like I need another silver. Silver, silver, silver. Where do I want to put the silver? I guess I, this, I feel like this would look good though, silver. Maybe I could put the simple line, like gold one here. I don't know y'all. Why is this so difficult? Uh, let's see, you don't want to do it like that. I think I like this one. Okay, we're going to do this one. And then that's it for the silver. Okay, I definitely want a mixed metal here in the center. Oh my God, my neighbors are really loud. I wonder what they're doing like super loud like what's going on homie okay so I'm gonna put hello there we go can I pick it up for a second okay oh I have to cough okay so I'll put this mixed metal one there so this side is done so it's mixed metal silver mixed metal mixed metal mm, I feel like I probably should have added like just a solid gold but uh, it's done. This is gold, silver, gold. So I need definitely what is happening with my voice right now. <clears throat> Another what is happening with my voice? Oh, no, I need a drink. I think I'm starting to think I probably should have put the gold one here. 
I probably should have done that. But, whatever. Should I put this gold one here with the couple and then put like a mixed metal here? Maybe that's what I should do. I can put, yeah, I like the snack books one. So we'll do another mixed metal. I feel like I should just do all mixed metal because now I'm only gonna have one, but whatever. Okay, that, and then I feel like I need another, like another gold one. I should have put gold over here. Why don't I listen to myself? I don't know. Let me see, let me see. Mm, I like the gold here. Sometimes I wish I was live, but like this is gold, so then this is gold. I probably should make that mixed metal just to like use the last one. But then I feel like this is the only gold outline. I really wish I could take that off. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna do the gold. And you guys are probably screaming at me. But I didn't think everything through. So what can I do? That actually doesn't look bad. Can you guys see that? I don't know, hopefully you guys can see. But whatever, it's done. <clears throat> my God, what is going on with my throat? So these are new date squares that I have from SPC. And I am going to do mixed metal. I've decided, I think, where's the deco page? We're almost done, y'all. I just need to do deco and yeah, basically deco. And then the numbers. I do like the deco. I think it's super cute. And I think that I have enough yeah. yeah, 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 we're gonna do the deco. Should I do silver first? Whatever, does it really matter? Not really. <clears throat> Man, my throat. So three, four. Oops. Three, four. Five, six. Sorry, I have to like concentrate extra hard with dates. Cause I'm always so scared that I'm gonna do them wrong. Man, I do not know what's going on with my throat. I am so sorry. I keep having to stop. I'm gonna edit out all like the, the choking and the coughing because it sounds freaking disgusting. So I will not leave it in, but oof. <clears throat> I need water. Definitely not Coke. I need water. Why can I not pick up this four? Thank you. Okay, so three, four. I feel like I didn't talk about the hubbies enough. I should have talked about like more stuff, but I was just like so excited to plan. Do you guys ever, well, if you do plan with me, maybe you guys can relate, but I feel like I always have like an idea in my head. I'm gonna talk about this and I wanna talk about this and that. And then as soon as like you start to record and put down stickers, it's like your brain leaves the building and everything you planned on saying and doing has just totally left and you didn't say or talk about anything that you planned on talking about. That is me all of the time. <clears throat> but whatever okay see this should have been the flat lay the pajamas all day instead of like the division edition i just had another coughing fit excuse me but yeah if this one was the flat lay the pajamas all day i would have used that for sure that flat lay but it is what it is so i really want to cover up this blue as much as i can because that pisses me off that it's even there but okay i'm gonna go ahead does that cover that? Mm. Oh, right here it does. Okay, oh, I just moved my page. So there, 
Okay, perfect. So I covered up that one blue line. This one, I have no idea how I'm gonna do that. But <clears throat> I got the big old Netflix here. Oh my God, I think I'm gonna cough again. What the heck? I put the Netflix. Okay, I'll put the Netflix there. I wonder if the balloons will cover. No, not even close. Okay, let's try to put the balloons. Well, what if I put the balloons like this? Hmm, not really. Of course, I'm like at the end of the video and this coughing fit just like doesn't wanna go away. I think I picked up way too many stickers now because I have all these stickers in my bloody hand. <clears throat> I'm gonna put the in and out bag here. The eggplant, I am gonna put uh, over here, you know, uh, because that will be happening. <laughs> oh, I cracked myself up. Uh, I don't know if any of you guys got that, but think about that one and get back to me. Ooh, the cookie dough ice cream. That should have been on a full box. Oh, you guys, so many good pieces. So I had to fix the deco at the top because it was like bothering me and I felt like I needed to spread it out a little bit better. And if you watch my Playing With Me's and you already know, I'm just, me and deco just don't mix. So I do like to sprinkle the foiled bits at the top and I have these heart ones here and I have it in silver and in gold. So of course, that's what I am going to do. So I think I'm gonna start with gold since I did start with silver. So that's what I'm gonna do. And it's like the filled in hearts and then it's like the heart outline. So I'm just gonna go back and forth between the two. And I think that'll be really cute. And I love the way this looks so, so much. For the record, in case you're wondering, Oh, I just realized I'm using the wrong, whoops. Uh, hold up. I need the outline. Come on. Thank you. There we go. And then I need the filled in one. And, oh, I was like, who is texting me? No one's texting me, it's just mine. Okay, so uh, does that really matter? It does look good like that though, but I'll just put this one there and then I do have like a gold outline. I don't think it matters that much. Oh, that's cute. Me likey, me likey. Okay, so then we'll do this silver heart and then perfect. So I'll get to use all of this pretty much off this page. And then I do have a full thing of gold hearts. So hopefully I can spread out the silver ones pretty well. I mean, if I need to spread them out more, I for sure will. Okay, so that's the last heart off of this page. Um, I guess I'll put it here, the gold one. Okay. That's the last heart there, and then I have one more silver heart here. 
and then this one is done. And yeah, that's all my silver hearts. What's that noise? Okay, I'm back. And I realized I wasn't recording, but Alondra was screaming on the top of her lungs. She had a nightmare. My poor baby breaks my heart. So anyways, I needed to like obviously get her back down to bed. And then I came in, you know, to finish putting in my twinkles, which I already did. So I'm sorry. And I cut off the top part of the balloon because I needed to do that. But then I was really looking at my spread and it was bothering me. I think this went down. Does this go down crooked? Let me see. It was just really bothering me that I didn't put another gold like on the other side of the page. Like I really think I should have put gold on this and it was driving me nuts. And I was trying to tell myself when it happened that it's okay, it's not a big deal, it's fine. But guess what? I am me and I cannot help myself. So I already moved this here and then I'm putting the bath here because obviously that's the only way to make it work. And I think I actually like this better because it's like people and people on the same side, which this is like my logic. I don't like people being on the same side, so I like it better that it's like people are spread out from each other. So I like that, that makes me happy. And now that everything is moved, I like it a lot more. So that's gold and silver. The two of like these, you know, lines are there. And then it's like, it's just more spread out. So. Makes me happy for sure. And then I did add a little bit more of the twinkle to the top and then I cut off the balloons here. And then the last thing that I really need to think about and decide on is if I wanna put anything at the bottom, I don't have a full bottom washi overlay, um, but obviously I do have this here, which is, um, my God, what is wrong with my throat? It's really irritating me. But anyways, um, it is the uh, <clears throat> the bows and then the twinkles and mixed metal. So I don't wanna add a bow and a twinkle because I feel like that is way too much. But I'm thinking of adding one of them, but I just don't know if that'll look good or not. What do you guys think? So I'm honestly, I'm not gonna do it in this video. So comment down below. Do you think I should add the bow to the top? Should I just add the twinkle to the top or should I add none of it? So please comment down below and let me know what you guys think about adding in the washi. It would just be like the top part. Um, but I don't know, I just feel like everything has foil that the bottom looks like it's missing out on something. And I feel like it needs a little something more. So let me know what you guys think. Um, but that is going to be it for this plan with me. On the sidebar, I am going to put five years and I'm going to put one week till Alondra going back to school. Do I have any backpacks now that would match? I probably don't. Um, I do not. But I do have... I think I have other school stickers that I can probably pull in. So I do want to put in like one week, which is crazy to think about that she does have school on the 13th. It will be virtual, but <clears throat> it's still school nonetheless. And then I do want to put in here five years. I just don't know if I want to use, I have like a couple of cute Once More With Love couple stickers, but then I also have a printable sticker. I don't have it here. Maybe I actually can show you guys here. You guys can tell me then, how about that? So I have like cute couple stickers that I could put here, or should I use this one? It's a printable sticker from Sticky Acorn. And as you can tell, it's a married couple. I feel like I should use a married couple. I know this is a very, very long plan with me and it was just for the base, but I just wanted this to be like extra perfect. So I hope you guys did enjoy this plan with me and I will definitely, once this is done, be posting pictures on Instagram. So if you're not following me on my planner Instagram, definitely follow me. And yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy. I'm like really kicking myself for not talking more about my amazing husband because he's the cutest guy in the entire world and I'm rambling right now, so I'm sorry. 
but he's just the cutest person ever and I just wish I talked about him a little bit more so I feel bad but I was trying to concentrate concentrate extra hard and he knows how much I love him so whatever it's all good in the hood but anyways I'm gonna go before I keep rambling I hope you guys did enjoy please give it a thumbs up if you are new to my channel please subscribe so I realized I did not give you guys a wiggle and show you all of the foily goodness. I'm doing this on my cell phone, so I hope it comes out. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, this is coming out good. So you guys can see here how the quote pops. You can see, oh my God, my dog is snoring. You can see the mixed metal of the date numbers and the hearts, so pretty. And look at that mixed metal there with the bougie boxes. Oh my God, I now know why everybody loves bougie boxes. Oh, I did have this Coffee Monsters Co sticker of like the parent emoji being sad with like their little emoji walking away with a backpack. So I thought that was perfect for one week till school. Um, but yeah, and then I did pick a bottom washi overlay. So hopefully y'all were gonna say the twinkle over the bow, but guys can just see here all of this foily goodness and just oh my god i love this so much it's so beautiful and yeah so anyways i wanted to give you guys a wiggle because i'm editing and i realized i didn't you know do a wiggle and oh my god this is so pretty so i hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see y'all in the next one bye